What's up guys, Elvis here, and today we're going to be starting a new series called Versus. It's going to be where I take two heroes, I pit them against each other in solo mid, 1v1, I tell you which hero is going to win, why they should win, and what the losing hero should be doing, okay? Our first two heroes are going to be Nomad and Drunken Master. I'm just picking these off of the forums at the moment. I saw a thread for Drunken Master versus Nomad, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, feel free to suggest ones for future, but for now, these are our two. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So who should be winning? Well, first of all, we all know Nomad is a phenomenal mid. Nomad should win this. The reasoning for that being is because Nomad has very good harass, he also has very good skills for winning mid, his W does not take a lot of mana, uh, relatively speaking of course, and on top of that, Drunken Master does not have very good harass. His skills all take quite a bit of mana, they do not do quite a lot of damage, and then to top it all off, Nomad has I would say a better attack animation, but to say the least, they're approximately equivalent, okay? So, now that we know who's going to win, Nomad is going to win. It's just a fact, okay? Assuming all else, uh, player skill is equal, of course. So if Nomad's going to win, what should the loser be doing? Well, normal uh, circumstances apply, of course. So the loser, this in this case being Drunken Master here, what should he be doing? Well, first of all, you need to be getting experience. As solo mid, even if you are losing, you need to be in range of experience to acquire experience, okay? That applies in many cases, but definitely in this one as well, okay? This nomad cannot zone you out that much. So, he's getting experience. What next? Well, he needs to make sure that he tries to claim runes. Runes can take a losing lane, in this case solo mid, of course, and bring you back to a winning position, all right? That's just fact, all right? Runes do that, okay? You need to make sure you're trying to fight for the runes, if possible. If you can't get the rune, and Nomad's getting it, then you need to be farming while he's getting the rune so you can get a little bit of gold. The next thing you need to be doing is you need to be ganking. Most solo mid heroes need to wait for 6 to gank, not all of them. Drunken Master is one that can gank a bit earlier because he d his ultimate doesn't give him any crucial ganking ability. It's mainly in his stun and his uh, slow, which I believe is called stagger. Same Similar concept with Nomad, his is usually in his... Um, his sand as well as his you know his two damage abilities at uh, mirage strike and true strike and then uh, wanderer so both of these heroes could be ganking drunken master you are going to lose mid against a nomad presumably you should be ganking in that sense you do not have to gank early on if the lanes are too pushed up if you know you're not going to get kills make smart decisions still so you should be ganking trying to get experience trying to get runes if possible or farming if not possible the other option you can do is try and get a few jungle creeps here and there, uh, especially once you get your health dupe up, which is presumably going to be your first item if you're against a hero like Nomad who's harassing you. Um, other than that, the only real other thing that you could be doing is having your team assist you in ganking Nomad and trying to get kills in that sense. Uh, if all else fails, you can ask for assistance from your team. Please help your team, in including if they're mid people, that just because they're mid does not mean that you know they're guaranteed to win and it's all about skill and you do not have to help them so with that being said that's what you should be doing nomad you should be winning mid you win mid and winning mid usually refers to mostly creep score however it can also refer to kills and getting runes and things of that nature and ganking effectively you should be getting runes ganking effectively once you hit approximately six give or take you know by then you should have your boots and bottle that's really what you need to start ganking effectively as nomad um, because you can get runes, you have the mobility from the boots, etc, etc. Uh, plus you have damage and levels at that point. So, ganking effectively once you have some levels. Other than that, Nomad, you'll be winning, okay? So, use it effectively and make sure you help your team out because you should be winning your lane, okay? Thank you for watching, people. If you have any recommendations or questions or criticism as well, uh, it's a new series, so uh, if you would like to me to talk about something else in, in reference to, you know, who should win, why they should win, etc., etc., um, specifically referring to solo mid, please feel free to tell me because, again, this is a new series and I'm working on it. So, thank you for watching once again. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, feel free to su uh, suggest um, new heroes as well, okay? So, I appreciate it. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. I will talk to you guys later. Elphis out.